guys, welcome back to It's Gotta Be Halloween, which is 31 tutorials in the month of October. If you decide to use any of these tutorials, please use the hashtag It's Gotta Be Halloween so I can see your recreations. And if you want to make sure you don't miss a single video this month, hit that subscribe button to be notified the second they're live on my channel. During It's Gotta Be Halloween, I wanted to bring you guys some classic Halloween monsters and characters, so this is my take on a zombie. As always, all the products used will be listed in the description, and with all of that said, let's get into the tutorial. So I've already blocked out my brows, then I'm building up my brow and cheeks with scar wax so the rest of my face will look more sunken in. So I tried out a new scar wax in this video, Mayron's Modeling Wax, and let me just tell you, I was not a fan. If you've been watching my videos for a while, you know that I blend the edges of my wax with Vaseline, and that just didn't work with this wax. The edges were very hard to blend. Also, as per usual, I'm using spirit gum to apply the wax. I just apply the spirit gum and then pat on it to activate it. After I have all the wax applied and blended as best I could, I use a stipple sponge to add some texture to the wax and to try and blend it a little better. Then to further try and conceal the edges and lumps in the wax, I cover the entire surface with a layer of latex and tissue. Also, as always, before using latex on anyone for the first time, do a patch test on their wrist or inner arm to test for an allergic reaction. To add some more gnarly texture, I add some panko breadcrumbs to a few areas. And I add latex to my chin, neck, chest, and forehead for some added texture. Once the latex is dry, I rip some holes in it to add some rotting texture. Then I mix up a nice dead shade and stipple it all over my face, neck, and chest. I stipple it because I want it to be patchy and uneven since zombies aren't exactly taking care of their skin. I stipple a light brown on top of my base color to add even more blotchiness to the skin. Then I stipple a dark green and a cream color to further break up the skin color. To start defining my sunken in features, I pat on a dark green eyeshadow. I use patting motions because once again, I want the skin to look blotchy. I further define those areas with a dark brown eyeshadow. And I use a black eyeshadow to really make those areas recede. I apply gray lipstick and then pat green eyeshadow on top of my lips to add some texture. The world has been I was brilliant. 
brilliant and didn't press record, but I decided I didn't like how my nose was looking, so I filled it in with black to make it look like it had rotted away. Then I go back in with my base color and refine the nose shape. I highlight the breadcrumb skin texture with yellow body paint. Then I fill in the areas of the latex that I ripped with green, brown, and black body paints. I highlight the upper edge of the holes and the skin texture with cream body paint. I complete the look with nicotine and red tooth stains. Thank you so much for watching another day of It's Gotta Be Halloween. If there's anything specific that you would like to see during It's Gotta Be Halloween, let me know in the comments. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I will see you tomorrow. Bye guys.